Come in here. Bring your bucket. Take these. And these. Burn them. Then forget you ever saw them. Mankind depends on it. Start in here in the yard. You'll burn the place down. And then pack our bags. I've got to see Professor Rep in Holland immediately. Lady Potts is here, Professor. Who? Lady Potts, you invited her to tea. I never invited her. She invited herself. What shall I do with her? Uh, put her in the study and feed her crumpets. Pep's curry. Yes, Calvin. I hope you have a good reason for all this, Mr. Van Els. The professor hates to be disturbed. For the last time, Mr. Andrews, I am coming to you on the matter of life and death. So please, to step your foot on it. Lady Potts. What a pleasure this is. Oh, Professor, you discovered my weakness. <laughs> well, I see no evidence of it. Well, charming. And from an American, too. Now, how can I help you? Well, now, my late husband begged me, almost with his dying breath, to pass on his notebook to you. He was such an admirer of yours. He made a lifelong study of fungi in all parts of the world. Apparently, certain toadstools that we all assume to be poisonous can be cooked in a special way and supply the human body with a marvelous release from care, an almost giddy sense of well-being. He was right. They were eaten in ancient Greece. This is very interesting. Jenny, why don't you go into the woods and pick us some Amanita muscaria? These. You'll find them under the pines. Wear gloves, dear. By a coincidence, I have also been studying how to soothe the human nervous system. 
My approach has been chemical. Oh, but how fascinating. Do tell. But so far, unproductive. Your husband's way looks far more appetizing. What are you doing, Pips? Saving mankind, miss. I can't say any more. I'm on the oath. Well, I'm going into the woods to pick some Amanita muscaria. Know what they are? Toadstools, miss. Watch out for the wolf. Deference for telling Professor Ed. Ah, er muss den Center bereiken. She's saying, oh, danger. He has discovered something terrible. Oh. Train Zurich tomorrow. You must stop them. Who? Stop what? Will you stand back, please, Professor? I was a nurse in the Boer War. They want the secret. They'll... kill. <sighs> I'm afraid he's dead. Lady Potts, I'm sincerely sorry you should witness this tragedy. Don't be alarmed. Jenny, show Lady Potts to her automobile. But is there nothing I can do? Nothing. Oh. Thank you. <sighs> we shall meet again on a happier occasion and discuss your husband's truly interesting work. I should enjoy that. Goodbye, Professor. Goodbye. All right, Charlie, explain everything. He came to my office. He said his name was... Van Elser. I know him. You do? He was Professor Rep's assistant at Groningen University in Holland. We were working together on a project to cure headaches. Well, he said he had to see you. He was so desperate, I drove him straight down here. He got away. On a motorbike. I couldn't stop him. Did you see what he looked like? I did. We bumped into each other in the woods. I saw his face. Jenny, book us on a boat to Holland tonight. Pips, get my bag. What's going on here, Professor? What's the story? There's no story, Charlie. There's a body in the library. Hello. Take care of it. Harriet's boat reservations, please. And find out what time the train is leaving from Groningen to Zurich tomorrow afternoon. Now, wait a minute. He's your friend, Professor. You're not going to lay this on me. You're up to your neck. Charlie, less than two hours ago, I discovered something so potent and so devastating that if it falls into the wrong hands, Mankind could be destroyed by it. What's that? It's a deadly gas. It attacks the human nervous system. I think Rep may have discovered it too. What a story. If you print a word about this in your paper, you'll endanger all our lives. I've got to get to Rep now. And Elsa had a ticket on him to Zurich. I've got to be on that train. 
So now would you excuse me, please? But you were working on headaches. Hello. I'd like to know the train times from Groningen to Zurich tomorrow, please. Passport. Where's my passport? Look, Professor, I may be a new town, but I'm also a responsible citizen. You can't just leave. Now, wait a minute. Jenny, you're not going to. You saw the killer. He, he may be on the train. That's why I need it, Charles. Are you sure it's here? Yes, I'm sure it's here. I filed it here. Under P for passport? No. Oh. Look, Professor, if she's going, I'm going too. She'll need protection. P for travel. The last time you had it was for that conference in Germany. H for Heidelberg. I knew I had it. But wait a second, I can't just... Your concern is with the body. Hey, what will I tell the police, huh? Huh? That I brought a man to see you, he ended up a corpse, and now you've skipped off to Holland? That'll sound good. You'll think of something, Charlie. It's your job. Let's go. The train to Zurich via Zelden, Köln and Basel for track. Tijd 10 over 4 staat op rond nummer 1. Gabriel! Join you, my dear. It's so nice to find a traveling companion. Ah, the vow of silence. I can't find Rep. His name's not on the sleeping car list. Well, if he thinks he's in danger, he's hardly going to make himself obvious, isn't he? Let's be here somewhere. Governor. This secret we're all searching for. Is it the same one you made me burn? Yes, sure. What, the one that all mankind depends on? That's the one. Well, seeing as I'm a member of mankind, so to speak, I'd be much obliged if I knew what it looked like. What? The se The secret. Is it bits of paper? Might be. More likely in the form of a clear liquid. You mean like gin, only more powerful? Considerably more powerful. Powerful enough to destroy any living organism. Well, if there's enough to kill all them organ what's it? There must be barrels of the stuff hidden away on the train somewhere. A single vial would probably be enough to wipe out the whole of Europe. What's a vial? A small glass tube. Single vial between us and eternity. That's exactly right, Phipps. Cool, Governor, you don't half get us into a pickle at times. Professor Devril is on the train. You're sure? Sehr interessant. No, no, that's my privilege. Just find out how much he knows. Leave everything as arranged. Peter's in.
Why are you dressed up like Tchaikovsky? And the threat to our mistake. Are we being watched? We have to talk. Who are you? I do not know you. My name is Schopenhauer. I'm on a concert tour. Excuse me. What is your name? My name is Phipps. Phipps? Hmm. Phipps? Oh, let me in. What is this? I'm your friend. Go away. I want to be alone. Look. I know what's happened. Your assistant, Van Elsa, came to England to warn me. Van Elsa? They followed him. Shot him. He's dead, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to Switzerland on the holiday. To play your fiddle in the mountains, Vincent, I'm here to help. You know what we've discovered. Tetraethyl paraphosphate. You know what it could do. Oh, me, I'm tired. I wish to rest. I've concealed my knowledge. What have you done? I'll call the conductor. Who are you meeting in Zurich? What are you taking him? Don't touch! Why are you traveling incognito? What are you afraid of? Ask to bleak, Mynheer. You must go in there. Ask to bleak. I was a minute, will you? Binnenkant op de rond 2 is de 7 uur 45 van Groningen naar Keulen, Basel en Zurich. Show you instead. 
Inspector, I have nothing to hide. Listen to. Hey! Hold that train! Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Wait! He has the formula. They need him to test it, to explain it to them. So we just have to rescue him before we arrive in Zurich. You care of cognac, sir? Cognac. Two, please. Do nuns drink cognac? Oh, yes, I think so. The unenclosed order, too, I think. But no cigars, I'm sorry. We just have to relax. Pretend we're ordinary travelers having a good time. I'll try. I love trains. They're so romantic. Tearing through the night into the unknown. Mm. Nice. Do you have any romance in you, Professor? Romance? Oh, yes. Twenty years from now, I imagine that there will be a high-speed train that will shoot through the night like an arrow. 150 miles an hour. More. And no steam. No soot. Electric and silent. Now that's romance. Very romantic. You got it. I got it. You got it. I got it. You got it. And I go. Nay. Check. Might. Might. Do you know where I'd be hiding Rep if I was them? Oh, no, it's far too obvious. You must have thought of it. I'm sure I did. Where? Back in his own compartment. You're right. It's much too obvious. <laughs> They're Stuart, madame. Come in. Madam, I'm very sorry to have disturbed you. A widow. I saw her get on. I'm paying you to stay awake, Doctor. <sighs> oh! Miss? Oh. I think we should leave this door unlocked. Just in case. Fitz, how gallant. All right. Keep well. And you, miss. Hello. Hello. You snore? Like a pig. Good. Me too. So? 
Be pleasures. Black or white? White. Good. You start. Do you have a map? 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 We need to find a shortcut. Now, where are we? There. Now, if we take this road here, see? Then we'll meet up with the train right about there and save ourselves about 10 miles. What do you think? What does he think? Good idea, huh? Come on. Search the train. Thought you'd been abducted. No. I arranged my own disappearance. Why? If you must know, get away from you. 
Don't you trust me? You are a brilliant scientist, Devril. But what else are you? Who do you really work for? I work for myself. What is this? What have you been told? I don't. I don't know who to trust anymore. Wait a minute. How long have I been here? Where's Phipps? And Jenny? Who? Where are my friends? Have you seen my friend, Phipps? See? That's right, Phipps. Where is he? He can't talk. That's gotta be the one. Someone. Where are they? Phipps? Vanished. Devil, listen to me, please. I may be wrong. I've had time to think. I hope so. We've endangered our species in the wrong hands. No, don't. Who else knows about this? Uh, myself, Von Ilse, and Kroll, my assistant in the laboratory. We were horrified. It was crawled the thought of Dr. Zero. The Nobel Prize winner? We met him last Tuesday in Amsterdam. It was agreed that I would come to his house on Lake Neuchatel, make tests, and then quietly, with no fuss, consign my discovery, our discovery, to the bottom of the lake. I harbored the thought for a moment that you might be selling it. <sighs> Vincent? Not for me, you understand. But the Dr. Hezo for the small endowment. How much? for our new laboratory, which you know we badly need. How much? 10,000 guilders. It was his way of thanking us for alerting him to the danger. Are you sure you were talking to the Dr. Zerold of Zurich? Kroll introduced us. Vincent, don't you think you should ask yourself, why did Van Elsa risk coming all the way to England to tell me you were in danger and pay with his life? And who warned you against me? Was it Zerold? He merely said, he said, what? They were of American agents. Me, in the Secret Service, and you believed him. He's duped you, Vincent, all the way down the line. You're his pet monkey. He's going to take your secret and drop you in the bottom of the lake. No, you're wrong. Dr. Zero is a great man. You have distressed your friends, Professor. Lady Potts. A pleasure to see you again. You recognize me? I recognize your ring. Ah, sentimental fool that I am. It was a gift for my husband. What are you talking about? Who is this woman? She was at my house when Van Elsa was shot. She was the... The Brook Sieg can save the power of love. Ladies first. Professor Rapp's discovery. Not a thing. I shall force you to tell me. So you may as well. I've always had a devilish fear of torture. Don't be foolish. If you don't tell us, we shall simply kill your friend in there. Ah. I see. Go tell them, Devil, for God's sakes! My life is nothing! No! 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 They know nothing! I've told them nothing! Devil, don't do it! That's all I can remember, but the gist of it is there. Now, will you please let Professor Rep go? He has a bad heart. It's a pity 
you're not aware that I have a first-class degree in biochemistry from Cambridge. I was awarded the Shadwell Prize in 1892. You're bluffing. No. You are bluffing, Professor Devereux. What you have given me, at a quick glance, is a formula for cleaning curtains. J'en sais rien, c'est s'est arrêté la net. Ah, on est au 10.30. Eh oui, je pense que c'est le Yeah. I had one of those. And the wheels fell off. Oh, yeah. Magneto prop. <laughs> <laughs> That'll fix ya. What's going on? You're the bloke we're trying to kill. Get, get him! Guten Morgen, meine liebe Dame und Herren. Lady Potts, you have done very well. My pleasure, Dr. Zirold. Dr. Zirold, I demand to know what is happening. These people are criminals. Are you really Dr. Zirold? Well, actually, I'm not. A small deception in Amsterdam. The good doctor is merely lending his name to this project. My dear Professor Deverell, I'm delighted to meet you again. This man is Stefan Kilkis. One of the greatest forces for evil in the world. Oh, come, come, you exaggerate. I'm merely a person who loves great power. And now, gentlemen, my most sincere congratulations on a remarkable discovery. But what of Zerolt? Oh, forget Zerolt. You are much more important. And you, Professor, I'm so glad you accompanied your colleague. At last we shall have the chance to work together. He's demented. 
you have any idea of the consequences? Of course I do. And what will you do with the formula if you have it? I shall have it. It will make me the most powerful person in the world. Have you any idea what the governments of the United States, Great Britain and Germany would give for it at a time of crisis? Oh, it's chilly. I have a rather beautiful castle nearby where perhaps we can discuss this in more comfort. But first, Professor Rapp, the violin case. Jules. Well, what are you waiting for? No, wait, it's a trap. If there's anyone behind there, I give you ten seconds to come out with the violin case. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. God, no. Six. Is it in there? It's in the line. Seven. Eight. Nine. You play very well. Now, let me have it. You wanted a demonstration, Dr. Kilkis. What better place than here, among the squirrels and the rabbits and the field mice? That's the gas gun you wanted. One squirt of that, and everything alive within two miles will wither and die. Grease gun. Cost you two bob in any garage. I took it from the bonnet of that car. Phipps, you're a miracle. Well, thank you, miss. I also learned to drive a train. <laughs> oh. What shall I do with this? Bury it with mine. All that work, all those hours, and now it's to be buried. What would it really have done to people? Destroy the entire nervous system. Paralysis and death. In trying to bring relief to mankind, we've... But if it exists, it's there for someone else to discover. Not in our lifetime, I hope. It's all there, Jenny, good and evil, for anyone to find at some time or another. Fill it in, Pips. 